Right, our car project smart cars failed the MOT on the washer jets. Now we've got the front off anyway, and we'll do the video of how to remove the front, which is that bit there, and Gary will do the little pointy thing to show you that. So if you've got problems with your washer jets, right, the first thing to note is that the pump is actually one pump for doing the front and the rear, or the front and the rear. It's got one electrical connection, plus and minus, but what it does, it does plus and minus, and it, it rotates the motor one way, and it goes up to one side, and then I think they swap the power over, and then it goes out this other, and then goes to the rear. So if you've got problems and you haven't got it on your front and rear, it could be the pump. But before you do anything, before you even take your front of your car off, it's best to check your water jet nozzle. So you can use a needle, or we found a much more manly thing, a resistor. So what you can do is you can put the resistor down in here, okay, and you need to go in a fair, a fair way. Um, so we can go in there and give it a poke about. And obviously you can obviously move, if you move it, the choice the resistor's not quite as good for moving them. The needle's a bit better, but that should clear that out. So let's have a look how that's doing. So these two were blocked, well, all three were blocked before. Let's have a look what that looks like now. <laughs> We're still not getting what we need. Let's try clean the others, and we'll also try cleaning the the rear one as well. Now this car was stood for a, for a while. Right, so we've given that a good clean. We've taken two or three goes, but we've now got a much better jet. <laughs> You're still not getting any jet um what you can do the next step is to test the pump output so you can test the pump output by removing this putting your finger over the end and seeing how strongly it blows so we'll give that a go now if you go and do the washer gary i'll take the camera off you and if you just activate turn the ignition like right you'll see that the pump is giving a good pressure so this is a little test you can do Turn the ignition on and then do the front wiper. Mm. Well, yeah, that's spraying everywhere. So the pump's got plenty of mojo. And if you don't get any output here out of your pump and you've just done that test, then what you'll need to do is change your washer pump and we'll show you how to do that now. So what have we got to do? So basically, when you take this pump out, water's going to go everywhere. So we've got a little tray to catch some water going on, although when I did this the other day to check out whether it was blocked, um, the water didn't fall in one place. It's sort of distributed everywhere, right? So we've got an electrical connection on the top. I can't remember where I got this off, but let's have a have a look. All right, so I want to try and get that off while it's in there, yeah. So I'll, right, so what you've got to do is you've got to press this little bit here. Let me get it in the light a bit. And that seemed to release a, you see, you can see that there. Maybe you have to push it or pull it, I'm not sure. Pull it, I think. There you go, here. Yeah. Um, so I pull it back that way and that. So then you've got the connector off, so we're not worried about. Now, with it in there, you could try and get this front hose off. Now it might start leaking, but again, don't worry. So this front hose goes up here and goes to the washer jet thing there. So what I've always found, when you're taking the hose off, don't always try and pull it, try and rotate it first, because that way it loosens the, it, it, it always loosens it up a bit. Especially if it's been there, and then I'm not gonna, I don't wanna snap that little peg off, so I'm gonna go, just to, I'm gonna have to hold it in so I don't pull it out. Let's have a go, come on. There you go. So if you're lucky, it'll come off, but you can see it's starting to drain away now. Now I think the real one's hard to get off, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, so I'm gonna tip it towards the camera where you are there, but I, you don't wanna tip it too much because you've got the, the probe, let me get that, where's that new one? This probe bit here is in is in the bottom, so I don't wanna like snap it off, but I'm gonna come back out enough and then lift it up. That's it. And then I should be able to wriggle that out. And you can see all the water. Now, if it doesn't do that, you've got a blockage. So actually that's good to see all that coming out there. Now, goodness knows where it's going, there we go. Oh, that's a mess. Right. 
Now you, you've got a little, you can pull it a little bit. And there you go, I was lucky there, that came off. So that's the, that's that one on. I guess if I'm super quick, I could get this back on. Let me do it. Should I just jam that in to stem the flow? And there we go. And then I can put that, I've got enough room to wiggle that back one on. Let's get the front one on, that's easy. Uh, it's not going to look very good on the video, this one. Let me see what I can just... Right, there we go. So I've pulled that over. So we've got to get the electrical connector off. It only goes on one way because it's square at one end and rounded at the other. So there's, you can't get that wrong. Right, let's uh, get that all square. He's looking right, isn't he, Gary? Mm -hmm. Right, now obviously we've lost water, but I think we've still got enough to do a test. Do you reckon? Let's have a go. Yeah. 